How you doing here? Well, I've got an order. It is my, I uh, haven't opened it yet. Just got it. It is, um, got it on Amazon from iBolts.com. I saw it, I thought, what? Because I didn't remember that. that's where it came from. But, uh, this is called, people generally call it gel coat. Um, and it's generally put on boats. But this is the actual chemicals, and I don't remember each chem the names, but there's quite a few different ones. But this this one actually contains the one that's supposed to be the longest lasting, according to what I did on about my research online. Uh, what I found. Boy, that's really taped up. Um... It's a quart, and I got it on Amazon for, um, I got it in an envelope for packing. Another one. Oh, that's a brand new envelope. I'll have to save that. UPS shipping envelope. I might need that. Okay. So, uh, I can smell it already. Might have been a good thing it was in one of these envelopes, huh? I hope it didn't leak. I think it was might have been upside down the way they wrapped it up and then stuffed the envelope in there. Of course, it shouldn't really matter. What I think I'm smelling is... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I don't want that even touching my... I don't think you can see down in there, but... Uh, you couldn't tell, but... There is a little bit of this... Uh, Hardening agent squeezed out of that little tube. That was just, you know, that banged the side of the box a million times. It's, it's a little lucky. It's not. It was probably more full than that, and you can't really tell. I can see that it's about two thirds full, and I can see the residue of where it leaked. That's a risk. About. I didn't think they'd be that stupid about their packing. It's called Seahawk brand gel coat. <coughs> Yeah, you got lousy packing, Seahawk, or uh, I boat. I boat. You have lousy packing. Use some common sense, man. This stuff gets thrown around like footballs when you ship it. So uh, that stuff is kind of here, here and there. Now it was supposed to come with. Uh, I got Snow White because my new scent. I've gonna. I've. I've got to cut some splash. Cut. Cut a custom. Basically, cut. I guess you'd say custom splash. Splash. Splash came with the new sink, but it has to be cut to fit. And I'm gonna put a piece behind the sink on the wall. A piece of uh, culture marble that I already had. That's not exactly bright white. So. This was twenty-seven dollars. Generally, it's thirty-four, thirty-five to thirty to forty, thirty-nine, forty dollars. Uh, actually, uh, this one here, this particular color, same brand as the other. I was looking at other, other. There's a lot of shades of white, and you, you know, unless you can go to a store and get it, which I don't know. I didn't want to go to a store, but if I did, I don't know where I'd find it around here. But. Uh, I'm gonna leave it just like it is. Anyway, there's two ingre two ingredients: a wax, they said, and a uh, and a, uh, I call it hardener. It's a there's a different technical name for it, but anyway, you got to mix a very small amount of that in with. And they say don't mix more than about a pint at a time because it dries fast. And it's really supposed to be sprayed, but I'm not gonna try to spray it. I don't believe. I guess I could. Maybe I should. I have a sprayer and a little air compressor. I was planning on um, using a... I've read up on how to... different ways to apply it, and I saw one real good video where a guy showed you all his tricks. He's a, he was a fiberglass, uh, custom fiberglass guy, and he makes... actually makes scoops for hot rod cars out of fiberglass. And anyway, he showed me... he showed a video of how to do it with a... Okay, now I can't remember. I think he used a combination of a sponge brush and a sponge roller. It's been a, actually a year since I watched the video because I didn't finish my... I started my cabinet job last year about this time in August and now I'm just now getting finished with it because my health gets bad and I don't get to do everything I want to do. 
But uh, anyway, uh, it's kind of dried, but it's there, that stuff. I think I'll put it back in the sack. I don't know that ain't going to work. I'll just put it back in the box. and If I try to put it in that sack a lot, it'll just squeeze more out of it. Let me see if I can. Uh, I want to throw that sack away. It really reeks. But put it in the box just to have something to have it in in the garage. So, uh, gosh, I don't even want to touch my phone now to turn this video off. Every one of my fingers got that stuff on it now. At least wipe them off a little bit. And go wash my hands real quick because I don't know how strong that stuff is and how bad it is for your skin. Okay, this dawn. Bye-bye.